Hello everybody, and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. This is another episode of First Appearance of the Week. This is Wednesday, January 25th, 2023. We'll be giving you all the first appearance in your comic shops today. Now this week we have a very light video for you guys. This might be the shortest one we've ever put out. I think we have six titles on all to go through, four first appearances, two honorable mentions, but there's definitely some books in there you guys should pick up for your collection. So let's go ahead and get started for the first appearances of the week, weekending January 27th, 2023. First up from DC Comics, Action Comics number 1051. This is a new three-story anthology format. The solicitation reads, This issue marks the first appearance of new characters, new costumes, and a new era of Action Comics. Now, Action Comics is one of the tentpole series for DC Comics and probably one of the most important title series in comics history. And given the fact that the solicitation itself states there's going to be new characters and new costumes in this particular issue, this is one you definitely want to pick up and add to your collection. You know, even if these characters go nowhere, given the fact that this is Action Comics and they are introducing new characters and new costumes, for the cover price, this is one we think is probably worth picking up and holding on to. So go ahead and grab this one here for your collection. Next up from DC Comics, Blue Beetle Graduation Day number 3. This features the first appearance of the Green Beetle. Now this Blue Beetle Graduation Day title series has had a lot of first appearances. This is issue number 3, but it seems like every issue there's a new first appearance of a new different colored beetle. That being said though, Blue Beetle is definitely one of the B series or one of the B characters for DC Comics. So there's not a huge fan base, huge collector base out there for Blue Beetle, but there are some collectors that do pick up the Blue Beetle titles. So this one here is definitely a speculative bet if you choose to pick it up because you're really betting on DC doing something with the Blue Beetle title series. If they take the Blue Beetle into a small screen, big screen project, it'll get more eyes on this particular title series, get a lot more people interested in it, and these characters might be more important. So this is one we think you probably have some time on. Keep an eye on this one here, but you can put it on your B-list for now. Next up from Marvel Comics, Star Wars The High Republic The Blade Number 2. This features the first appearance of Envoy Selene, the first appearance of Field Marshal Tozen, the first appearance of Sevens, a droid, the first appearance of Prince Colden, and the first cameo appearance of General Vice. Now we always recommend picking up these Marvel published Star Wars titles if they're first appearance of new characters because Marvel Disney is still churning out a ton of media for the Star Wars franchise, whether small screen or big screen, and you know, you never know when any of these characters that they're introducing in the comics are going to appear in one of these projects. So in our opinion, this one here is one you definitely want to pick up and add to your collection. There are a lot of first appearances in this particular issue, so go ahead and grab this one. And finally from IDW, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin The Lost Years Number 1. This features the first appearance of young turtles, Odin, Uno, Moji, and Yi. Now, anything related to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, huge fan base, huge collector base. This franchise is still going very strong. The Last Ronin title series, incredibly popular, heavily collected. And this continues that Last Ronin title series with The Lost Years. This is the premiere issue of that series. So in our opinion, the fact that this features the first appearance of these young turtles, this being a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle title, and it being a Last Ronin title series, this is one we definitely think you should pick up for your collection. And now for the honorable mentions from Aftershock, Bulls of Beacon Hill number one. A successful surgeon has been able to live his life without the public knowing that his father is a notorious gangster, but that is about to change when his political aspirations make him the target of the mob. Now this one here sounds like it can lend itself very well to a TV show, a streaming series, or a feature film, and Aftershock Comics has had a lot of their titles picked up an option in the past, and this story sounds like it could translate very well to the screen. So in our opinion, this here is a great spec bet. Pick it up if you can. If you can't, put it in your B-list and keep an eye on it. And finally from Image Comics, Invincible number 1 facsimile. This is a reprint facsimile of Invincibles number 1. Now like we always say with these facsimile editions, it's always worth picking these up for your collection. You know for the cover price, you're getting the exact reprint of the comic as it hit the shelf years ago. You're getting the original art, the original story, and all the original advertisements. Just like you went back in time and picked this book off the shelf. So in our opinion, for the cover price, this here is worth picking up and adding to your collection. So there you have the six titles that we have for you guys this week. Very short video, but there's definitely some books in there worth picking up for your collection. So please feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. As always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.